Here we will show you how to add content to DesignSpark. As you're navigating around the DesignSpark site, you will see on the top right hand side this contribute button here. Simply click on the button. This will then give you an option of adding an article, adding a project, adding a news item or asking a question. Today we are going to be adding an article. So simply click on the add article button here. And you'll see that this opens our new content template. Now that you have your new article template open, this is where you can start to add the pieces of information required. You'll notice that the default language is English. The content title should be a description of the article you're about to create. The excerpt is a 250 character overview of the article. This also provides a preview for when people are browsing on site. It gives them a flavor of what your article is about. Keywords, they're important. They allow your article to be searched either here on DesignSpark or through search engines such as Google. In this example, we have used keywords DesignSpark, industrial computing, IoT and sensors. You can have as few or as many keywords as you like and simply separate each keyword with a comma. It's important that the keywords are representative of your article, which will allow then your article to be found a lot easier. Image. This should also be a representative image of your article. This will be used along with the excerpt to generate the preview. Simply click choose a file, navigate to your local drive, select the image required and click open. Here you will see that there is a small preview of the image. If you select the wrong image, you can simply remove it by clicking on the small X alongside and then repeat this process to add a new image. Parent. This is where you want the article to appear on DesignSpark. In this example, I have selected Automotive. However, if we want to change, if we click on the drop down menu, you can see the various areas where we can place our piece of content. Automotive is fine for us. Attachments. Attachments are used as complementary pieces of information to support your article. They could be data sheets, they could be white papers, instructions, or even circuit designs. Simply click choose a file and then select the piece of content you wish to attach to your article. In this example, we won't be attaching any today. The attachment description is handy if you are adding more than one attachment. You can give each attachment a description. This makes it easier for the viewer to understand what you are talking about within each attachment. Body text, this is where you add the main piece of content. You can add images, tables, hyperlinks and also embed video from YouTube. To add an image, simply navigate to a place on the page where you want the image to appear and click this upload button. Choose file. This opens to local drives where you can select images for upload. Simply select the image and click open as we did before. You have now created an image within your piece of content. You can also change the size of this image, so simply click on the image, it turns blue, then right click. Select image, and here we have the image editor. So you can change the size of your image. I want the image to appear across the full width of the page. Within dimensions, I am going to type 100%. Making sure that the constraint proportions are ticked, I will then click OK. You will notice that the image is now expanded across the full width of the page and the image proportions are intact. We can also create hyperlinks, either to RS components or to other websites. If you are inserting products that you have sourced from RS components, you can link to them directly in the form of open brackets 181 dash 1135 close brackets. 
This creates a hyperlink to the RS line level page for more information. Or you can create a hyperlink to another website. To do this, highlight the word that you want to hyperlink from, in this case, blockchain. Then go to the URL where you want to hyperlink to. Copy the hyperlink. And come back to your document and right click on the word you highlighted previously. Click link and paste your URL here. If you change the target to new window, this will make your hyperlink open in a supplementary window whilst keeping the old piece of content in view. You can also insert YouTube video. So navigate to the place on the page where you want the video to appear. Then go to your YouTube channel to take the embed code from your video. To do this, Click on the share button and select embed. Here you will find the embed code. Simply copy moving back to your content and select the video icon above. Select the embed tab and paste your code here and click OK. You will now find that there has been a video added to your piece of content. So just to summarize, we have added an image. We've created some hyperlinks both to RS and other websites, and we've inserted a video within our piece of content. Scroll to the bottom. If you haven't done so already, click Save. This will save the piece of content you're creating into your profile and you can edit it at any time. You will notice there are two additional buttons in view. One is publish and one is view. The view button allows you to create a preview of how the article will look on DesignSpark and it's handy from time to time to do this so you can see how things are coming along. When you're happy with your piece of content and you're ready to publish to DesignSpark, simply press the Publish button. This will push the content into our moderation queue, where our DesignSpark moderators will be happy to look and review and publish to our website as soon as possible.